Okay, so we're going to start by talking a little bit about how to get started on the first lab, Lab 1 C++ Review. I think, uh, you know, it's a pretty straightforward lab, but might not be so obvious, so we wanted to take you through uh, getting things all set up in this video, and then maybe we'll give you a, a few more hints once you get set up. So um, let's just look at the lab description first. Uh, you should be able to read data in from a file called to-do list.txt and then it you should be able to have the you have a lot of flexibility on what format that file will be but then you should be able to run commands like add new tasks to that file and um, uh, you should be able to remove tasks and you should be able to print what's in your file and you should be able to print what's in a certain day and uh, the other thing is we'd really like you to be able to um, replace your main.cpp with somebody else's and have it work so we'd like to keep um, to create basically a uh, class that will do all of the I.O. for you so your main doesn't really have to do anything. Okay, And as you can see, uh, you get some points for allowing you to add items to your list, remove items, uh, print the to-do list, print out a specific day, and uh, it should work if you replace it with somebody else's. So this lab we're going to actually uh, do peer review on, and so we're going to assign you to look at other people's code and give them some feedback on their style and on uh, whether it works or not. Um, so we're going to, I'm, I'm going to kind of do it in a simple way to get you set up, uh, but you're welcome to, to do whatever additional things you want once you get going. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start with kind of what we did in the last video where we created a main that just printed out all the arguments and um, we had a make file that we basically uh, compiled that main with. We're going to change it now so that it creates an output file called to do because that was what it was in the lab spec. So we'll go ahead and change this to do will be our target and it's going to depend on main.cpp and if we take a look at the lab uh, we should also inherit we should have a to do list.h that inherits from to do list interface.h so we'll also put into our make file that we depend on to do list.h and that will help us know when to recompile things. Okay, So we'll have to modify our main a little bit because he's going to also include uh, to do list.h and uh, we will also need to create a new uh, file to do list.h and I've also copied over the to do list interface.h that was provided in the lab description. Okay, so I'm going to now copy everything that was in your to do list interface, which, which only has virtual functions that have no implementation. So these are abstract functions, and now I'm going to make them concrete inside my to-do list.h. And so here we're going to throw them in here. Again, uh, we'll start out by just using uh, if defs. So we're just going to say, if you haven't already included this file before, then go ahead and we'll define that so that you won't end up getting into a circular loop where you define it a whole bunch of times. And then we will say this is a class to-do list 
that is a public uh, to-do list interface. So we will this will make a subclass here that inherits from the to-do list interface class. Okay, and inside of here we're going to then want to have a constructor and a destructor. I have the name of our current uh, class. And we're also going to implement these right here in the include file instead of putting them in a uh, to-do list.cpp because we really want um, somebody to be able to just take our include file and get the functionality without having to also uh, include a uh, cpp file as well. And what we're going to do is inside of the constructor here, we're going to put the uh, we're going to open the file and read everything in and inside of the destructor which is called when this object is deleted we're going to to have him write out to a the file okay so to start out with I'm just going to maybe give you some debugging uh, tips here we're going to want to um, I'm just going to put in stubs here and I'm going to uh, put some debug messages so I can make sure that my code's working and I'm going to start testing early and often. That's my, my philosophy. So uh, again, we're going to make these concrete functions and just print something out. And then we'll go, but you should go back in one at a time and go ahead and uh, fill them in so that they actually work. But this way we can get everything to compile and we make sure that we don't uh, have any um, structural problems before we uh, start filling in the functions. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful. Um, I think we're almost done here. So... <clears throat> You can be creative in how you do this, but uh, um, we're just going to create some stubs here that we can go ahead and, and work on. Okay, so there's a to-do list.h. Now inside of main.cpp, let's see, we last time printed out all of the arguments. Probably not a bad idea. And maybe now we're also going to create a to-do list called my list and uh, someplace down here uh, here we're going to say if that argument was an add so that was an argv sub 1 <coughs> then we're going to call my list dot add and we're supposed to pass it uh, the next argument, which will be argv sub 2. And uh, let's do this. I'm going to declare a couple of variables. Uh, date and task. And we'll assign this. The date is going to be argv sub 2. It's the next argument we pass. And the task is going to be argv sub 3. And so then we'll pass that date 
and the task to the add function. And that's really all we have to do with add in main here. And so I'm going to put in debug here that will say date is the date and task is task so that I make sure that I'm getting everything that I need to correctly to call my function. And this may seem like a lot of work to put in this debug information, but I'm telling you it's going to pay back because it will tell you exactly where your problem is if you have a problem. Okay, so now we kind of have this all set up. Let's uh, um, I think we should be able to build it by now. So let's see, he's including that to-do list. And he needs to include the to-do list interface dot h and um, uh, let's see what happens. Uh, so I'm going to cd to lab1, which is where I put all this stuff. And here's my to-do list.h, the to-do list interface. And I can remove main because we're not going to use that. Now if I take type make, it should go ahead. Notice that it now created a binary file called to-do, which um, instead of main. And it uh, seems like everything compiled. So now I can try running it dot slash to do with add uh, Sunday oops and uh, eat food and that will hopefully run my program okay here we are in the constructor our first argument is to do add Sunday eat food oh that looks really good so we now say, okay, we're doing an add. The date is Sunday and the task is eating food. So that's good. We're in the add function of our, so let's see where this is coming from, okay? So again, this in the constructor, that came from my constructor, right? So we know we got there. We can then see that uh, I printed out all these arguments. That was in my main.cpp where he printed out all of the arguments. He then um, found out it was an add and he printed out all of these things. And we saw that here. Doing an add. Here is the date and the task. And then he called the add function on our object which was in to-do list.h. Here's the add. We printed out in the add. And uh, then we said we're in the destructor. So now you can see that we are, here's our destructor. So again, the constructor is called when you create a new object. The destructor is called when you either remove him by calling delete on that object or when your program terminates. So I'm hopeful that this kind of gave you a, a look into how to set up the lab and how to get everything kind of hooked together so that you, compile, you can compile it.